Hello everybody, my name is David Pierce. Are you tired of making or playing a battle royale that ends with getting shot from nowhere? Are you tired of getting into unfair fights? Then it's time to drop those guns and latch on to your favorite car as we dive into Tetracycle Battle Dome. This unique battle royale experience pits players into a 3D open arena environment where vehicles are the only weapon. And what better way to tell you how it goes down than going through a round ourselves? Like most games, we start off with a choice. For our case, players can choose from a variety of vehicles, each one with its own unique style of play and special ability that can be used in the arena against other players. Now for us as a player, we decide to go big or go home, so let's choose a tank. Upon selection, we will be able to see the properties, allowing us to understand its special ability, difficulty in driving, and more while the game begins to load us into the arena. Now, once the arena loads, players will begin to spawn on an outer edge facing multiple floors in the very center of the map. Each floor comes with its own unique layout, consisting of entry ramps, exit ramps, obstacles, power-ups that can refill our special ability, and traps to use against other players or be caught in ourselves. For this match, let's say there's at least 12 players total. So what can we do as a player? First, it's note that we can always drive and constantly make a wall behind us. This wall can be used to make opponents crash and be eliminated, giving us points and secondly, lessening the amount of players. Moving on, we can also use our driving to find and run over traps that can be used to eliminate opponents as well. This will also allow progression in the system. But be warned, as ledges and falling can also eliminate us and opponents alike from the game as well. So for our game, let's say we make it to the final five. Each player or opponent with their own elimination points. Should no player die after a minute of time, the game will automatically progress the match by eliminating the one with the lowest elimination count, continuing progression until one opponent or player remains, taking home the final prize and ultimately ending the game. We will find that this game is similar to John Tron and Jack Racing for use of vehicle combat and power-ups in an open arena environment. However, there are always risks to each game. Due to our inexperience, we cannot complete a mass multiplayer game of 20 players, or even 12 for that matter, and the amount of time may not be enough to, to complete our work entirely, leaving unfinished work mechanics and a very raggedy basis. To mitigate this, we will plan to create a simple player versus AI basis with at least two floors that both the player and AI can utilize. My name is David Pierce, and again, thank you for once listening and secondly, seeing each other in the battle dome.